Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we look at the Crafter Rintham plugin. So, this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to create custom crafting, smelting, and many other types of recipes super easily in game using a GUI. Now, I've created a couple of examples. So, if we go into this crafting bench and put some wood along the outside and then melon in the middle, that is going to give us two emeralds, weirdly enough. And then if I come over to this furnace, you can see I am smelting obsidian and that's turning into bedrock. Now I've changed the amount of time it takes. It's now a thousand ticks, which is going to take a little bit longer um, to create this bedrock. So it's slowly thinking about it. And there we go. We now have two bedrock. And that is just an example of what you can do with this plugin. So let's go ahead and show you how to use this plugin now. So if we do four slash craft, that's the main command. And what we can do is hit list. This is going to show us the ones that we've created. So these are some of the default ones. I created this one as we saw earlier. And then if we look at bedrock, you can see this is the blast furnace. And then if we also go back into this, you can see this is the normal furnace recipe. So you can have it work for multiple things. So let's go ahead and create one of those. Now, if we were to four slash craft create, we can choose the types. There's anvil, cooking, shape, shapeless, smithing, and stone cutting. So let's do a shape recipe first. And this one's gonna be called diamond one. Once I've done this, we are going to create a recipe where you get 32 diamonds. All you need is a cake and then apples in a U shape and 12 of them. Hit confirm and we have created it. And what we can do now is attempt to recreate it in here. So you can see I've popped in the apples and cake and that's going to give us 32 diamonds. So that's nice and easy. And what we can do is create another one. And this time it's going to be a cooking recipe. And this one's just going to be called random. And in here, what we can do is select multiple things. So up at the top, we've got the smelting time. I'm going to change this to 25 ticks, which is just over a second. Uh, we want it to unlock for player. And then the experience re reward. So what is the multiplier? I'm going to put 10, which is quite a lot. And then if you smelt a piece of rotten flesh, you are going to get a diamond. And then down at the bottom, you can select what you want it to work on. So uh, furnace, yes. Blast furnace, yes. Smoker, no. And campfire, no. Hit confirm. And then we can go ahead and test it out. So that was taking quite a while for the bedrock. If I pop this in here, it's super quick, takes just over a second. And there we go, we now have diamonds. So there's some other useful commands if we do four slash craft and then item. What we can do is actually give a created item or multiple of them. So this example item is going to be 10 stone pickaxes. And then what we can do is look at test zero and that's going to give us a special sword that has uh, a couple of enchantments so we can do craft item save and this one's going to be called server miner and then you can give it a secondary name as well which is beyond the colon so that could be a number or it could be something else and then what i've done is save 34 diamonds whatever was in your hand and then if we go back you can see there it is server miner colon test and that's given us those 34 diamonds. So there's a few more commands we can use if we do forward slash craft and then disable. You can disable a specific recipe if you want. If we do forward slash craft reload, that's going to reload the plugin to anything you've changed in the config file. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and there's a few folders and files. So if we go into items, for example, this is where you're going to save all the items we created in game. So here is the server miner one and that just saves the information. We can pretty much do the same thing for recipes. Each recipe is going to have its own YML file. So diamond one that we created is going to tell you the type, the shape, the source and the result. And you can see that's what we said in game. And then if we go down to remove recipes, this is a list of the disabled ones. So obviously the one we just used the command on. If we go into the config.yml, this is where we can change only a couple of things. Um, so do you want these recipes to unlock uh, by default for players or do you have to tap that button on the top of the GUI? Do you want to enable Anvil recipes? Yes or no? And there's just a couple of other ones like checking updates and removing vanilla recipes if you don't want to use those and you want only custom ones which would be interesting. Here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.20. There's multiple languages supported with this plugin. If we scroll down there's some really useful information, Discord, Wiki and GitHub and then all of the commands and permissions here. 
So if you need any help, you can go to those links or contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.